Welcome to another Howls and Growls post-game breakdown. Today we're going to talk about Minnesota's bigs and how another big game against the depleted Pelicans was a microcosm of what they've done all season long so far. Now this was a walk in the park kind of game for the Timberwolves with all the injuries littering the Pelicans roster, but once again we saw something we didn't see last season. All three of Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns and Nas Reed working together on offense. They've always been a good defense when they're able to use their length and size on that end of the floor, but they really struggled with spacing issues last season. This season they seem to have fixed that. Just running through some numbers before we jump into the film, you see that with all three combinations, those offensive rating numbers are way up. They were hovering around worst in the league for all three last season. Now we're at 121.6 for Towns and Gobert, 118.7 for Towns and Reed, and 117.8 for Gobert and Reed. All three of those numbers would be better than over 70% of the teams around the league right now. So let's just dive into some film to check it out. This is a funky one to start off because it's not a made bucket and it's not something we see a ton, but it's always process over results and this is fun process. Two bigs in the screen and roll, good pass, bad hands from Gobert, but you can see that that synergy is there now. Now we get into the real stuff, they run wedge action here with Mike Conley setting that wedge screen, but the important thing is where Gobert is, he isn't clogging the lane, he's out here spacing, and even though we know he isn't a shooting threat, when Conley catches, he is clearing the lane for Towns' potential post up, but he's also here ready to come set a ball screen. Conley is going to use that screen, walk right into space going to his right, and nail a triple. So now it's Reed and Towns on the floor, Horns flare action from the Wolves here, Nas Reed is setting the flare screen, but when nobody comes to run into it, he just slips it and it's an easy bucket off a nice dime. The great thing about these Towns and Reed lineups is that they're both excellent floor spaces. That gives Minnesota options and it confuses defenses. Here, Towns is popping off the screen and Reed is in the corner. Right here, Larry Nance Jr. is in no man's land. He's not really up covering Towns or stopping the drive. That means Brandon Ingram needs to rotate as the low man to stop that drive. And Reed is now going to punish the defense from the corner. I think Nas Reed really gives this Timberwolves team flexibility because he can play both as a wing or a big. He's quicker and more agile than Towns and Gobert, so they can do some funkier stuff with him when he's on the floor, and it helps open up Chris Finch's playbook a little bit. Here, he's going to come off this flex screen from Mike Conley. Gobert again is up and out of the paint, setting that down screen for Conley to come off into a wide open three. Process over results again, but this is great process. It's always going to be all about that spacing for Minnesota, and that spacing is mainly going to come from Gobert. This time he's up, setting horn screens alongside Nas Reed. When he rolls out of it from the top of the arc, he's going to force Ingram to come and help again as the low man, and that corner is open for that skip pass three once again. That exact same logic is going to be applied again on this possession, except this time it's Towns on the floor, and they've got him in the corner. Gobert screens, starts to truck down the lane, the defense has to help off the corner, and now Towns is open for a clean look. They're just going to keep killing the Pelicans with different two big looks in this game. Now it's Towns and Reed sharing the floor, which means you can get Towns in the high post elbow area, where he's a little more comfortable than Gobert. He plays some two-man game with Edwards, now Edwards is attacking downhill, and again that corner help needs to come, another three for the big in the corner. Sometimes it does seem like they're just making it up as they go along, but last season that wasn't working, whereas this season it really is working. Cat is trailing the play here, Gobert again stays up instead of clogging the paint at the front of the rim, and now Cat is using his screen instead of Conley, and it's a downhill bucket. And there's still potential for even more smooth two big possessions. This is a really nice short roll look from Nas Reed, but you see Gobert calling for the lob here. That would have been a nicer read, and it's only possible because Gobert is starting so much further away from the paint than he was last season. It really does feel like they've figured it out with Gobert. Keeping him out of the paint to start possessions is key. This time they're going to go with those staggered pin down screens. That allows Gobert to roll into space. McDaniels finds him and it's easy free throws. Last one here and we're going to save the best for last. You see Conley telling Gobert to get up and get at the ball again. Because when he's here... 
His man can sag deep into the paint and clog things up. As soon as he gets up and rolls, the corner is helping again. And now Towns is going to come back door for a lob. And that's a sick, sick read from Kyle Anderson. The two big lineups are working. The Wolves are fun again. Thanks for watching Howls and Growls. Please subscribe for more.